Hello dear ones, it's Alice. Um, I'm of the stars and I am here in my official rainmaking capacity. I was just down at the Chatsworth um, Preserve and Reservoir checking and, the, and then I checked all the way up here to Sage Ranch on the top of the mountain and all along the way it had rained. Let me show you. So here we are, Sage Ranch, and you can see off in the distance here more rain clouds. Looks like your, um, the um, nature elementals are picking up water from the ocean, which is over that way. And, um, and the zephyrs are carrying the water up to the clouds and making the clouds heavy with water and then blowing them in the right direction. You see right over there on that mountain right now, it's raining. See there? Right over there. And then if I look over this way, I see the results of today's rain on the ground, where the ground is kind of, kind of wet. See there? Wet ground. Look at that. Way wet for this area. This is a semi-arid area. And over here, the rain poured down off of these rocks and down into the parking lot. And it's been this way all the way up here. I see mud puddles. Down here was a, like a little flood of rain. Um, the wild growing uh, fruit trees here, it looks like they'll have enough rain for the time being. And I see that the nature spirits in this area, I can feel that they're greatly heartened and hopeful. And that the, the plants themselves are feeling that, that, that the worst is over and that there's, there's hope for, for them to continue living here and to be happy here in these mountains. This is a wonderful feeling today. And there are the rain clouds up there. Wow! Look here, someone has left a stainless steel bowl on the ground in the parking lot that's accumulated water in it from the rain. And that'll be good for the coyotes that live right around here to drink tonight. And here by this big rock across from the parking lot where I often see coyotes moving around us and looking for gophers to eat. Uh, there's this, this big mud puddle that went down this way, down the hill. Just a lot of it came from probably way up there on that hill and coursed down through here and on down, on down the hill. Wow, I'm very impressed. I really am. Because uh, if one person could actually wish for this and then have it happen, or two people yesterday, then what would happen if 10 people in Los Angeles decided to do this? Especially men. Men are especially good at this kind of thing because, they're, because of the strength of their willpower and the directness of their intention.